Good Thursday morning, everyone. We are on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer to talk about the markets. The Dow is slightly below 22,000. Jim, let's begin with uh, Tesla. Elon Musk hinting at a possible debt offering. Yeah, no, he's not hinting. He says, yeah, he basically said we have really good coverage by Brian Sosie this morning and some other people. Uh, he has to. He's burning through a lot of cash. But look, the bottom line on Tesla is a lot of people really love the car. And the people who love the car are people who buy the stock. And uh, that's because they think it's a tech company. And that's right. Uh, and as long as he has access to the capital markets in some way, shape, or form, then I think it can continue to go higher because he's very promotional. Uh, but he does have a car company. People love the car. Uh, if he can get the funding and continue to get the funding, he will win. Uh, and that's, I know there are a lot of people who feel that that's not a rigorous approach, but he will win if he gets the funding. And right now he's being funded. What did you make of his confidence on the earnings call? Yeah, he's uh, incredibly promotional. Uh, uh, there's a great piece in Market Watch about how he kind of acts as if it's like a private company or a small cap or doesn't realize there's a great responsibility in these calls. But it, again, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, you love the car, you own the stock, you believe that it's a tech company, you own the stock, and, and that's what propels it. Let's move on to Take Two Interactive, raising their revenue forecast. What did you think? Yeah, I mean, Grand Theft uh, Auto Online is doing incredibly well, and it's this has been a long time since the uh, last iteration. And the fact is, is that what you do is you just kind of amortize it over time. It's a remarkable story. This is a franchise that's bigger than almost any other entertainment franchise, maybe the biggest entertainment franchise mm -hmm. in history. And even though they didn't have any new titles to speak of, it, it is powering their numbers higher, which is why the stock looks so good today. Uh, you now have a situation where the book, their, uh, their aggregate of what games they produce continue to produce good numbers. They've got Red Dead uh, Redemption 2 coming up, and then in 2018 they teased NBA 2K eSports. That could be very important. Uh, we, for ActionAlertsPlus.com Club, uh, issued a bullpen analysis of Activision Blizzard. Mm. NASDAQ's a little uh, wobbly today, maybe you get a chance. All right, we know NVIDIA has exposure to take two, but what did you make of the LAM research downgrade? Um, the LAM research downgrade was uh, a little jarring uh, because LAM's been down in a straight line since it reported an excellent quarter. And the reason why it's going down, aside from the downgrade, is because they make chip, they make the machines you need for a lot of different kinds of chips, but some of the commodity chips. And I think there are people who recognize that action in the Micron stock after they ported a blowout quarter, which is now below, is signaling that perhaps there is going to be a coming glut. If there's a coming glut, there's a belief that there'll be order cancellations for these big machines that Lamb makes. Now on the other side, Martin Anstis says that's probably not going to happen. He's the CEO, but the PE multiple here has shrunk rather dramatically. And I just want to warn people that that is the classic way that these stocks tend to roll over, believe it or not. Uh, I believe in Ansys, but I also believe in how, what stocks are saying. Jim, let's talk about Teva, stock getting hit, guidance well, they cut, slash. Yeah, they cut the dividend uh, pretty rather remarkably. They're talking about price pressure in U.S. generics. Now, that's very interesting because that's the business that they bought from Allergan. Allergan going down. Um, people just feel that it doesn't have the oomph. They did boost the forecast. So did Eli Lilly. These are stocks that we own for Action Alerts. And, but then they didn't have the pizzazz to raise them. Uh, I have to do more work on Allergan. We'll be issuing Bolton later today. But I do feel that, you know what, I mean, that whole group is a little squishy and Teva is probably the weakest of all. All right, moving on to Yum! Brands. They reported better than expected earnings, but Pizza Hut yeah, comes I mean, and it's fell. incredible because Papa John's reported a great number and Domino's reported a great number. They've got to get pizza together. A very good numbers, KFC. Excellent numbers, Taco Bell. Remember, that's the, the rump of what's left after they uh, spun off China. And Pizza Hut hiring delivery staff fits into the stay-at-home economy you talk yeah, about. Yeah, it does. I mean, Pizza Hut's late to the game. Let's see if they can make a dent. It's a, such a competitive environment. Uh, Domino's domestically did quite well, uh, but Domino's overseas. Remember, UK was weak. Hamburger's very strong. There's kind of a split here between Pizza and Hamburger's International. Ah, and some nice comparables for sales for Costco for July. Yes, and uh, brick and mortar's rallying today. Uh, Costco's doing good. I still like TJX. It's not participating, uh, it, which is maybe because it's clothing. I know there was an initiation of PVH as a buy. Uh, I still think that TJX is a good way, but I understand people want to own uh, the, some of the department stores, and they really want to own Walmart, which is, I think, totally right. Walmart and United Health, I believe, can lead the Dow. Uh, remember, the Dow has been led by a narrow group of stocks. This time, it's Walmart and UNH. And you said on Squawk in the Street, Walmart could be a good competitor to Amazon. Yes, Walmart has a uh, great business, hmm. and Walmart has a family backing, the Walton family. 
and they are, uh, I think, willing to give Doug McMillan a lot of uh, a rope to be able to not hang himself, but compete against Amazon. Watch out for Jet.com. I think that acquisition is going to work. McMillan's very good at his job. All right, Jim, we have a jobs report on Friday. Economists are expecting 178,000 positions. It's not really a consequential job a number. Um, the unemployment's low in the country. Uh, I don't see the Fed. I was hoping the Fed would uh, tighten in September just because I want them to get more normalized. Janet Yellen taking her time. She's taking her time because there's pockets of weakness in the economy, principally the auto. Uh, watch even the semiconductors that go into auto. That's another part of what la may be causing LAM to go down. Ah. Autos are the weak part of this U.S. economy. All right, Jim Kramer, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much as always. And for more information on the stocks that Jim just mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.